These are in my classroom. These are in my classroom, too. These are in your classrooms. What are they? Good guess, but we know that you have more than eight. So, these represent the eight studio habits of mind that are hiding, lurking, living in your classrooms. Um, they were designed by Lois Hetland. And in this particular uh, visual, you will see that they go every which way. They work in all kinds of different ways in the classroom. They are develop craft, engage and persist, envision, express, observe, reflect, stretch and explore, and understand the art world, could be the music world, the dance world, the theater world, science, math. They live in all the classrooms. It took me 20 years to discover them, and since the past three years that I've been using them, they have inspired my um, planning, my instruction, my assessment, but most of all, my student learning. So how do you turn on the studio habits of mind that are in your classrooms? You can kind of look at three steps. Number one, you're going to uh, be aware of them. Kind of think about your classrooms. How do they already exist in your classrooms with your students? Next, you're going to teach the studio habits of mind. Find those teachable moments so that you can help your students get a deeper meaning. And third, nurture them. Provide opportunities, create opportunities that allow studio habits of mind to flourish, to be turned on and stay on. Whether you teach visual art, dance, theater, or music, we will help you identify how these are happening in your classroom and help give you strategies to help you nurture and teach these strategies to your students. Taught at any grade span, the Studio Habits of Mind offers a framework and a common language so that we can begin planting seeds towards proficiency and growth in the arts. We believe the Studio Habits of Mind are applicable to the visual and performing arts, and we welcome you to come and learn strategies that will help strengthen your curriculum and also empower your students to be lifelong learners and advocates for the arts.